Let's take a moment to focus on cannabinoid analogs. So what is an analog? An analog is created by taking one molecule and modifying it slightly in order to create a new chemical entity. In the instance of CBD, you can see on the left-hand side what its natural structure looks like. So this is how it occurs in nature. In order to create an analog, you would modify one of the chains on the side of the compound in order to improve it uh, in, in one way or another. So you can see here, highlighted in blue, uh, a side chain where we can modify uh, the structure there by adding either a new uh, compound or a new molecule in order to improve or change the, uh, can the, the makeup as well as the performance of CBD. Why would you want to do this? Well, for pharmaceutical research and development, it's really important to uh, be able to modify these compounds in order to explore therapeutic activities where the naturally occurring compound may not have any activity whatsoever. Uh, you can d create an analog in order to modify the dosing amount or frequency of giving the drug. Uh, you can potentially improve the safety profile of the drug. Uh, and you can look into different modes of administration with an analog that might not work for the naturally occurring compound. But also really key to this is that it helps protect the long-term commercialization by filing a patent for this analog, uh, which we refer to as a new chemical entity, uh, as well as the method for manufacturing it. So as we invest a lot of time, effort, and energy over the years in exploring the benefits of these compounds, on the back end we can protect the commercialization against generics uh, and, and realize the full commercial potential of this new compound. So I hope that helps explain what an analog is. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thanks.